What's up everyone, welcome to Stockton, it's a pleasure to meet all of you. On this channel, we talk about stocks before they start blowing up, say goodbye to chasing stocks at all time highs and say hello to making some money. So if this sounds like something you want to take advantage of, then hit that beautiful subscribe button and like the video. Now let's get to it. Before we get into the video, I have to say that I'm not a financial advisor, anything I say is just my opinion and is for entertainment purposes only. Having said that, if I'm talking about a company, I'll let you know whether I'm personally going to invest in it or not towards the end of the video. But you should always do your own due diligence, so with that out of the way, let's get started. Hi guys, today I want to talk about a stock that I've been interested in for the past few months, Coupang stock. Ticker symbol CPNG is the Amazon of South Korea. It is the largest e-commerce company in the country that went public earlier this year. The stock did take a bit of a dip because some investors expect slower growth in a post-pandemic market. This was due to a mixed report in May that showed widening losses which spooked some investors. However, I believe that CPNG stock is one of those millionaire makers if you hold long term. E-commerce giants like Amazon and China's JD.com also posted years of losses before becoming profitable. And this is exactly what Coupang stock hopes to achieve through economies of scale. Coupang stock should not be dismissed as a millionaire maker stock because it is growing much faster than Amazon. Coupang's revenue rose 64% in 2019. It jumped 93% to 12.1 billion on pandemic-related tailwinds in 2020 and grew 63% year over year to 4.2 billion in the first quarter of 2021. Coupang is growing much faster than Amazon, but it's still burning money. Its net losses narrowed in 2019 and 2020, but nearly tripled year over year from 105 million to 295 million in the first quarter of 2021. Coupang doesn't intend to break even anytime soon, since it's constantly expanding its ecosystem with new services Instead, it claims its gross profit, which rose to 92% in 2020 and 70% year over year in the first quarter of 2021, is a more meaningful measure of its improving scale. Coupang expects its gross profit to increase over the long term, as economies of scale kick in. As that happens, it might gradually balance out its operating costs with its revenue, which could pave the way towards sustainable profits. But that goal which e-commerce giants like Amazon and China's JD.com eventually achieved after years of losses remains a distant one for Coupang. On the bright side, Coupang ended last quarter with 4.33 billion in cash and equivalents, so it can stay unprofitable for the foreseeable future without launching secondary offerings or accumulating more debt. The fact here is that guys, Coupang's growth rates indicate that it has the potential to create a lot of millionaires who invested here early within the next 5-10 to 10 years. Coupang needs to continue to grow its market share in South Korea. They will at some point need to expand outside. If they do, they will be competing directly with market leaders in Southeast Asia like C's Shopee. This could prove to be an expensive challenge to pull off but if they do manage to do that, then sky is the limit for Coupang. Coupang has all the right ingredients and a lot of room for growth, which is why I believe it has the potential to create millionaires. However, in order to achieve that, they need to increase the market share in South Korea and use strategies that can help reduce the losses. I have not invested in Coupang stock yet as I am waiting for the right entry point. Unfortunately, I missed the big drop when the stock fell below $40, but I believe anywhere under or close to $40 is a good price to get in. Let me know what you think about Coupang stock and whether you invested here or not. Leave a comment below. Anyways guys, that's it for today's video. Have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one.